Let's review the Hagen model engine a little bit. First off, you have the igniter here, and as this lever is on an eccentric from the rotation of the flywheels, it comes underneath this lever and snaps the points, pushes the points together and lets them snap apart. That creates the spark. This is the positive lead that goes down to the coil. This is the negative lead that goes all the way back to the battery. This over here is the mixer. This tube here is really for show on the model, but right here there's a plug that you can take out and put a little charge in as a primer when you're going to start the engine. I use carburetor cleaner uh, which comes in a spray can. You can drop a little fuel in there and then close it back up right back here. Make sure this is in view. Turn this a little bit. Okay. Right back here is the choke. There's a little slot here. If you pull up and let it drop down in, the engine is choked. That allows it to take more fuel in. Be careful with that. Once it starts running, pull the choke off so you don't flood the engine. Because once the points get wet in the igniter, it won't run. And then you'll have a, a bear of a time getting it going. So, pull it back off. There. There's a chain. Let's see. I'm right here. There's a chain that goes down through here. This is where the fuel comes in. And this chain picks up fuel and draws it up here and lets it atomize in the cavity right here and flow in to the combustion chain chamber of the engine. Here's the governor and it also pulls the chain through the fuel. This is a leather belt and it's just clipped here with a wire to allow this to go around. If this doesn't turn around no fuel gets up to the chamber here and none gets into the combustion chamber so it won't run. This here is a governor adjuster. Let's see. Let's see right here. Right under here, right, under, right underneath this screw is a spring, and it pushes against the lever in here. This piece right here. Do not pull this out. If you pull it out, it's a quite a task to get it back in place. It goes down and sits vertical against a rod that comes in and that rod is activated by the governor right here the governor waits as it spins so leave that in there this is a rough speed control here it's a little touchy usually leave it about center and it runs pretty good there so that's how fuel gets up there when you're starting it, you might have to put a charge in here every once in a while just to get it going. When the engine is cold, uh, it might start and run for a while and then stop and you'll have to deal with it. So that's kind of the fuel system. And right here, let's see, you can see where the pulley's mounted back on the crankshaft. There's a set screw. right here that holds the pulley to the gib key so you can adjust it out to where you need it. When you receive, if the, if the flywheel's off then you'd have to slide the flywheel on to where the gear lines up. Don't shove it in so far that it hits the edge of the bearing cap. If it hits the edge of the bearing cap it's going to bind it's not going to run well, but you want it in here so this uh, pulley, uh, this gear won't ride out and misalign with the cam gear. The gib key in the flywheel just gets tapped in with like a, a rubber mallet or something. Don't hit it with a metal hammer 
uh, you'll, you'll mess up the edge of it and you'll have issues with it.